What's going on? Jake here with Uncommon EDC. Today we're taking a look at a third party accessory made to fit in standard Zippo style cases. So again, to be clear, not made by Zippo, not affiliated with them in any way, but made to fit in standard Zippo style cases like the one you see in front of you. And this one is an official Zippo, so in their standard size, obviously won't fit in something like the Slim because it has different dimensions. Now the way this video came about is I had made a video a few months back on another Zippo insert called the BitSafe insert. This one is made by Zippo and has a bit driver up top, storage solution for three additional bits on the bottom, which you do have to remove the insert to access. Have a separate video on that, which I'll try and link to in the corner if you're more interested in this one. But in that video, I mentioned that I believe this bit safe to be the first insert made by Zippo, not made to light something on fire. I don't say something with a flame because I know the arc insert exists and uses electricity to light fire. But I was incorrect. A lot of people corrected me in the comment to let me know that in the mid 90s, Zippo made a product called the Ziplite, very similar to the product we're gonna look at today. And it was unfortunately discontinued. You can still find it for a pretty reasonable price on eBay, but unfortunately, basically none of them work. There was a couple of fatal flaws, mainly that it didn't have replaceable or rechargeable batteries. And so not only is the battery gonna be depleted, but most of them have just been sitting in there over the years and it's gonna be corroded and filled with battery acid. And so kind of a painful project to get them working again. The other big issue is that it used to for a batteries, but not the standard size. And so the only way to really get batteries for it in like a retail sense is to buy a nine volt battery and disassemble it to get the four A's from inside, which are a little bit shorter. And so it seems like a little bit of a hassle. I may still do it just for the fun of it to get one of the originals, but this seems pretty similar. A viewer by the name of Skull Candy Wonderland commented a couple weeks back to, to check this out. It's available on Amazon for $15.99, so just under 16 bucks. And so I figured I'd pick one up and check it out. So again, standard Zippo, really simple operation. So this one's probably gonna be pretty short and sweet. Basically, you flip the top open, light goes on. It's one of those cheap LED diodes that you'll see on like those squeezable keychain lights, stuff like that, and no other mode. So it's just on or off. It's basically like your microwave or fridge or car door. And in the operation, there's a button here on the side that the lid presses when it's closed. And so when it's closed, it's off, which obviously we can't see, but when that's not pressed, it is back on. And so, they don't give you any sort of information on the lumens most likely because it's not very bright. And so I have no way of testing lumens. I'm thinking about picking up a machine that does test how many lumens a flashlight is, but it's pretty expensive. I'm not sure it's really worth it. But if I had to guess, I'd say this one's somewhere between one and five lumens. So the equivalent of a moonlight mode on most flashlights, I'm basing that on comparing it to one lumen, one and a half lumen moonlight modes on flashlights that do give that measurement. And so pretty similar to the O-clip we looked at yesterday, which had a one and a half lumen. That one is a natural white. This one's more of that clear white light, but the size and brightness of the light are basically identical. So if I had to guess, it's about that. Now, no other modes again, and it does have a replaceable battery, but and in order to access that, you just pull that out. You can use a coin, pry bar, flathead screwdriver, whatever you want to open this. It's a CR2032. And I would imagine that LED will outlast that battery several times over. So you should be able to swap this out pretty easily. Now, these are made in China. I don't know what the warranty's like. I have seen one review mentioning that they had some issues with it and had a horrible time trying to get a refund or replacement. And so wouldn't count on a warranty being available for this one, unfortunately. But I thought it was kind of a cool product. Now, this isn't really gonna be an outdoor flashlight. It's not very bright. In my testing, you know, it's fine for finding your keyhole or something you dropped in the dark or even your way in the dark. If there's ambient lighting, it doesn't throw very far at all. It just kind of gets washed out. If it's pitch black, it will shine across the room, you know, 15 feet or so and light up the wall across the room, but it's not a very bright light. It's not gonna replace any of the lights in my collection, not even brighter than like your cell phone light or anything like that. But it is another cool option if you're not a smoker and have no use for a lighter for other reasons to carry a Zippo and have some sort of utility out of it. I think it's pretty cool. It's 
cooler than a lot of flashlights being that it's inside a Zippo that it automatically turns on when you flip it open and you still get that lovely Zippo noise. But would love to hear your thoughts on this one down in the comments below. I will link to both this insert as well as the BitSafe insert in the description of this video if you're interested in checking them out. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, definitely consider liking, commenting, subscribing, and hitting that notification button. I'll help out the channel a ton, and I hope you have a great one. Take care.